Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here. Okay, so the goal of this video is to talk about storyboards and animatics, and in particular to how they connect to the animation that you're gonna make, you know, in harmony. Okay, so here's a study from that one time that Naruto fought Sasuke. And these thumbnail images, they capture rough sketches from that showdown. Notice that I've split these in order to have some form of organization. So as we kind of click through, we should be able to get a sense of that overall movement of what's happening in that scene. Here is the timeline in the animatic. So when creating these animatics, I suggest including toned backgrounds, perspective grids, layer animation, camera moves, and audio. Try to imagine that your goal is to create a very choppy version of that film. Now, let's have a quick watch of the animatic. Notice that it's basically a skeleton of the film, but it's clear enough and it's gonna stand on its own. This is a great tool to help with your animation because a lot of the key poses have already been broken down. So whether you're gonna animate it or whether you're gonna send this to somebody else, there's a clear idea of what the staging and the timing is so it's going to be a lot easier to figure out you know how many frames to put and where to put them by the way file menu go down to export and then go to harmony and then you're all set to jump from that animatic and the storyboard to the actual keyframe animation phase So now we're in Harmony. So let's have a quick look at the layer stack. I've got all of my layers and sketches and the organization that Storyboard Pro has set up for me. All of the animation has been transformed for me and you can even see that there's a camera and a camera peg that has also been set up. So the next step is to go through the process of tracing over those key poses that I've got. So I've got one here, two, three, and four. And what I plan to do is to illustrate the breakdown frames and then to in between all of them. Now, just note that I've got all of my layers set up. And ideally what I wanna do is to turn off all of these layers eventually. And I wanna keep this generic background layer. What I want to do is to be able to replace those as I watch this animation. So here is all of the storyboard film artwork. So let me just turn that back on again. You can kind of see frame by frame what I've got. Here's one drawing. Here's another and another. Now let me go and turn on the rough sketch that I went and created off camera. Notice that I have some kind of a drawing for that frame. And then if I go to the next frame, it's an exact tracing of what I have in the storyboard. Okay, let me just scoot forward because you could see a separation right over here. So if I go to the next frame in the animation, you can see that I had just traced over it and so on and so forth. So at this point, let me go and turn on. And you can get an idea of what that is. So what you want to be able to do is to go and create all of the animation that's going to show up in between. And you want to try to animate pose to pose to try to match up all of that movement. Because you already have a sense of what the timing is supposed to be. So if I kind of scrub through and I play this animation right here, you know where the start and the stop is going to be. So ideally what you're trying to do is to get to a point where you could just turn off these storyboard layers and then instead just keep your actual drawing layers because uh, yeah, that's a whole idea. You want to use these tools available to go and plan everything out in Storyboard Pro and then make it look cool in Harmony. All right, so let's do a quick side by side and we'll start by showing the actual animatic that was built in Storyboard Pro. Now in a moment we'll cut and let's look at the same animatic but we're gonna superimpose those keyframe animation um, frames on that actual part of the sequence. So you can see it right now. Um, you can see the actual animation on the right versus the animatic on the left. 
Ideally, what you want to do is to get as many scenes animated as you can, and then if all goes well, you move on to the next stage. So there it is, there's the money shot. Now, assuming that everything looks good, you could just finish by doing a cleanup pass in Harmony, hopefully make some backgrounds in Photoshop and drop them in, and then that's about it. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Go give this a shot.